Hi, it's Ramona here. Today I want to talk about the overhelpful manager. What is that? Well, um, I speak from experience. I know that when I first started leading a team, I would take on a lot of my team's uh, work just because I thought, you know, I'm being helpful. Uh, someone wants to leave early or someone uh, needs an extra hand, I would step in and help, which in general is not a bad idea. But when that becomes a bigger pattern, then there's three consequences. Number one is you're creating dependency because now people know that you will step in and if they are running out of time, they're feeling stressed and they feel like they need help, well, guess what? They're gonna come back to you. Number two is that it creates stress on your end probably because not only are you now dealing with all the managerial responsibilities, but you're also helping other, and you're doing your own job. Plus now you're helping your team's job, which is likely just creating an overwhelm for you in the long term. And number three is poor performance because now you've become a bottleneck because likely people will expect you to come in and help out along the way. Uh, and that in itself, I think is reason enough to evaluate how often you are being helpful um, how often you step in and you take on ownership for something that's actually not your job. So helping in the sense of asking questions and saying, how uh, have you tried this? How about trying this? How about you, we reschedule some of the priorities? That is all great, but actually taking on the ownership of the responsibility um, uh, of the task and alleviate or releasing them from the responsibility, that can backfire. So I hope you found this helpful evaluate in case this is impacting you. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll see you on another short video just like this. Bye-bye.